Hi everyone. So I've got a new box to my channel. This is the Universal Yums. It came in pretty bad shape, but I'm pretty sure I have got everything in here. And you know, I've been watching Kim from Hanging Out with Kim and her mom Karen do this Yum Yum box for a while now. And I've just always wanted to do it, so I thought, you know what, let's just go for it. So every now and then, we're going to have a little fun on Tuesdays. So, anyway, I hope that you guys stick around and join me. But, <coughs> but first, you know, I thought I might want to cough and then, and then keep on talking to you guys. All right, let's start over, shall we? All right, let's get the box in place. Hi everyone, I'm One Take Nancy, and today I am going to be opening up my first Universal Yums this box and I have been watching Kim from Hanging Out with Kim and her mom Karen open this for a few years now. I just love when they do it and I love their facial expressions because you just never know what you're going to get in here. Is it going to be something sweet and salt or sweet or salty or something that's oh, take me away Calgon. So anyway I thought I would give this a try. So looking forward to having a little bit of fun. Maybe every now and then do a taste test Tuesday. <music> channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you take a quick second. That little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. And I really appreciate it when you give my channel a thumbs up or share my channel out. It really means a lot. So thank you guys so much for doing that. So anyway, I am going to be opening up a new box to my channel that I've watched some other YouTubers open this as well. Have a lot of fun with it. I um, especially get so excited when I see Kim from Hanging Out with Kim and her mom Karen open these. And just the, the, the facial expressions because some of the foods, you know, we're not quite used to different foods from out of the country, all over the, the world. And so sometimes the spices and things like that is just something we're not quite accustomed to. So anyway, I thought it would be a lot of fun. Just never know what you're going to get in here. My first box had a little bit of a mishap on the way. It was kind of taped from the post office here, but I didn't even have an apology letter on it. So anyway, it was all kind of crunched up. We had some kind of tape on here. I mean, maybe it came from customs like that, but it wasn't even holding the box together. But I do have 10 items in here, so I think I'm going to be good to go. So you get, it gives you three choices, but there's really only two that I think. So um, the one that I got is the Yum Yum box. This is the smaller of the box. It says it starts at $26, and that would be because it would be cheaper if you sign up for a year as opposed to going month to month. I think I just went month to month for now. So anyway, um, you get 10 to 12 snacks in this box. So you get, um, it says every snack in the Yum Yum box plus five additional snacks. Oh, well, so you get uh, 10 to 12 snacks. We'll just leave it at that. And you also get a 16-page booklet with some trivia and some games. Or you can get the Super Yum Box, which is going to be 16 to 18 snacks. You're going to get everything that's in this box, plus you're going to get an additional five items. You're going to get a unique drink, a specialty food, and a cultural activities. And it says you get bonus content like recipes, activities, and much more. Those ones start at $41. So the first time that when I went to sign up, they gave me a choice of three different countries to start with. I thought I would start with Spain. And then after that, I think maybe everybody gets the same box. I'm not sure how that works. But anyway, so this is the inside of the box. So we've got this little booklet here that's got some trivia and fun. It also got it has everything in here that's in here. We get this little map here of Spain and a little bit of trivia about it. On the back, if you are doing this with family or friends, you can kind of keep score and do notes and things like that. We got some stickers. And these are the items in my box. And you know, it would be fitting for Spain if my margarita fairy godmother was here. She must be on vacation because I haven't seen her 
in a while. Wow, she must have heard me. Thank you, fairy godmother. Don't you wish everyone had a fairy godmother that would bring you a margarita whenever you need one? And it should go perfect with this box, right? So anyway, this one said she must maybe a strawberry margarita. Alrighty, so cheers, everyone. Not sure how to say cheers in Spanish, but cheers, everyone. Mmm. So, so good. So, anyway, as I look at the salt off my lips, these are some of the goodies that are in here. And I got the smallest of the box, but, you know, it's still a lot to do in one sitting to have all this open stuff. So, I'm going to take about four things out, and then we'll just um, do do it another, another night. So, we got two bags of chips. So, we have this Acho Trufa. Blanca, so it's white ruffle flavored potato chips or fried egg potato chips. I'm going to go with fried egg. All right, so put that down. We've got two bags of sweets. So one's a spicy mango, so it's like a gummy spicy mango and three slices. I'm going to go with the spicy mango. Looks like we've got two kinds of cookies. I'm going to go with this big honking one. I don't know what these are. But anyway, they look good. We've got this big, that's a big thing of cookies. I'm excited to have that. We've got these two things. So one is a sweet soft sweet it looks like crema camellos and this one is chocolate la casa something or other let's go with this one right here and then we've got these two things left over so we've got a peanut butter cream that sounds good and these la castinos we're going to go with the peanut butter Alrighty, so those are what we're going to try today and then we will do these on another Tuesday. Alrighty, so anyway, I'm excited to give this a shot. I want to thank you guys again for stopping in, and let's do some trivia, shall we? So in this little booklet, they've got two pages here, so eight pages of All Aboard the Trivia Train. So let's see if we uh, can get some of these things, right? So I made my cheat sheets a little bit bigger. Let's hope I can read them. Alrighty, so the first one is, how can you tell hey, how popular a Spanish bar is by looking at A, how many wine bottles are on display, B, how many napkins are on the floor, C, the rating posted on the door, or D, a special icon posted on the menu? So the answer is B. So if you think trash on the floor is a bad sign, then you're missing out on some of the best places. Spanish bar culture involves tossing used napkins, olive pits, and other trash on the floor once you've finished eating. A ton of napkins on the floor means a ton of people have been eating there. But be careful before you start throwing your trash around. Not all restaurants follow this rule. So watch the other customers before participating in this unique tradition. Now, back in, it had to be early 80s or maybe the mid-80s at the earliest. We had a restaurant in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. I'm sure it was a national change, uh, chain, and it was called the Ground Round. And it was kind of like on the idea of today's sports bars, though we didn't have like flat screen TVs and stuff during the day, so you didn't have all these TVs up all over the place. You might have had a few things, I think. Are you just regular TVs? Um, but anyway, when you walked in, there was like popcorn kernels and little bits of popcorn all over the floor. So whenever you sat down, they would come over and they would just bring you baskets and baskets of popcorn, and you were expected to, when you finished them, and there was still like the kernels and the broken pieces, to dump it on the floor, and if you didn't do it, the waitress would do it for you. Alrighty, so that was a fun tradition. Alrighty, so the next question, two. Instead of the tooth fairy, Spanish children get a visit from A. Ratatoncito, I said that wrong, Ratatoncito Perez, the mouse, or B. Gatorita Gonzalez, the cat, 
C. El Pollo Diablo, the chicken, or D. Manuel Rodriguez, the sparrow. And the answer is, already dun da dun da da the tooth fairy, boring, overdone, doesn't even have a real name, not like Spain, where children get a visit from a, a, talking mouse named Ratancito Perez. Ratancito became a pop culture icon after the author Louis Coloma penned a story about a tooth collecting rat for eight year old King Alfonso XIII in 1894. The tale became so beloved that a plaque for Ratancito was erected at the Madrid warehouse where he supposedly resides. Alrighty, number three. The Spanish national anthem is one of four in the world that A. gets longer every year, B. is performed without instruments, C. is one line long, D. has no words. And the answer is, dun, 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 it's number D. It says Spain, along with Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo, Kosovo and San Marino is one of the only countries in the world whose national anthem has no lyrics. Francisco Franco tried to add words during his 1939 to 1975 dictatorship, but when a democratic constitution was adopted in 1978, his lyrics were scrapped. Today, listeners hum, sing na 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 along to the tune instead. You can hum along too. It's on the playlist. On the last question that we'll do, there's eight questions, but we're just going to do four today. So number four is according to Spanish tradition, which of the following is bad luck? A, eating 12 grapes on New Year's Eve. B, putting a hat on a bed. C, placing a cactus on a windowsill or D, hearing or seeing a cricket? And the answer is B, don't even think about leaving a hat on a bed. Some locals believe it'll bring bad luck. The superstition stems from a time when people thought static electricity from hats was actually a sign of evil spirits. So a jolt from built up static could could be a ghostly attack. Fortunately, A, C, and D are all said to bring good luck, but make sure you eat a grape for each chime at midnight. Alrighty, so that was fun. And just in case I didn't mention it, it did have this little QR code here that has a playlist, so that is probably where that national anthem would come from. And then it just has some other fun facts in here. And, of course, it tells us all about the different treats that are in here. And it's got some pictures. It's got, like, some work. Oh, and this recipe. I was browsing through this. I like shrimp. I like garlic. So it's got this recipe for Spanish garlic shrimp. That looks good. So make gambas al ajijo or ajilo. Anyway, that sounds good, doesn't it? Alrighty, and then just some more trivia about the place, but you know what? I'm losing my voice. I'm going to have a quick snack, a quick drink, and then we'll be back to share the snacks. Alrighty, sorry about that. Needed a quick break. And um, you know what? We're going to start with these eggs. These dips with these fried egg sounds exciting to me. So it says Acho fried egg flavored potato chips. these and, open. and it looks like regular chips in there it does kind of smell like fried eggs and bacon maybe yeah salty it's a bigger you do it's like you're eating an egg that's crunchy you know like sometimes when you're frying an egg and some butter and the edges get a little crispy that's what these taste like It's good, but I don't think I'd want to eat the whole bag. Maybe one or two and then 
I would call it quits for the day. But I think after that I need something sweet. So I'm going to go with this Conquitos. That's peanut and cocoa cream. Focus, please. You just kind of... Yeah, that was interesting. I mean, I wouldn't mind eating one or two, but yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to eat the whole bag by myself. Cheers, everyone. But it was interesting. Alrighty. Ready? Let's get this open. It just looks like a nice little chocolate bar right here. And looks like we can probably break a piece off. Whoops. It's very mushy. If I can show you. So we got peanut butter and like a chocolate fudge in there. Mmm. It's like a butterfinger, but softer than a butterfinger. Mm. Yeah, this is good. I could eat the whole thing. I think I need to go get a napkin. Alrighty, so I had something kind of salty, like an egg and chips. We had that, that peanut butter chocolate. Oh my God, that's really, really good. I know they say that they have like a yum yum shop too, so that if you liked anything, you can go online and buy some of these just by themselves. Alrighty, so we had salty, we had sweet, now I'm going to go to hot. Spicy. Alrighty, so these are the spicy mangoes. I'm excited to try these. And again, even though it's in the, the book, you do have all the nutritional information in the back and the ingredients. And also the expiration date, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so this is, I forgot if this was, it's supposed to be my January box, so I should be getting another box in a few weeks, but we'll see how it goes. They smell like mangoes. It's sweet, like a mango, like a nice smoothie. Nice and squishy. It smells really nice. Chewy. As they should be, as a gummy is. Okay, now I feel the heat. Okay. Yeah, you can really feel as you bite into it. And some of the flavors just kind of come out. Yeah, just like kind of stripping in your mouth. And you can feel that heat. Like my tongue is getting hot, but a good kind of hot. Yeah. Spicy, but still sweet. Getting a little hotter. I probably could have gone for some water as well. Maybe next time I'll bring water. Go have a little sip. So this is going up already. So while I'm chewing on that, let's go for the cookies. So it looks like there must be coconut in here, like a wafer. Alrighty, so interesting. Let's see how easy these are to open. Hmm, I'm still chewing. Those are good. Those are good. I would definitely have those again. But I, I, I like spicy. But I think it was a little bit of shock at first because sometimes when you get things like that, it's hot when you first put it in. And then that goes away and you get, you get the sweet. So this was, you got the sweet first, and it's like, oh, this isn't bad at all. This is really good. And then it's like, bam, that, that heat kind of kicked in with the spice. But it was good. I would definitely have those again. Not all in one sitting, though. All right, so I'm trying to open this without making a mess. I think the first cookie here is broken. Probably don't have my scissors in here with me. But... You know, let's set this aside. If you don't want to get open, you know, we'll open you next. So we've got this one right here, La Casa. And it's chocolate, so it must be maybe dark chocolate. And maybe there's some nuts or something in there. All right, let's try this, shall we? I will work on those cookies later. I'm not always a fan of dark chocolate. Sometimes it's okay, though. 
And a one time for Christmas, my boss's wife got me, and of course, but back then I only liked the sweet ones. I wasn't really a fan of the dark, dark red wines. And I think she gave me a Merlot with some dark chocolate, and I was supposed to take a bite of the chocolate and then have a sip of wine. And you know, that was surprisingly good. Alrighty, so I broke off one of these. Getting ready. I don't want that that much in case it's really dark. Okay. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Nothing really special. It's almost got like a fruit flavor to it, as well as the chocolate. Not really smooth, like a milk chocolate. Let me see if I can see what's in here. Oh, okay. It's got orange zest. zest. Well, that's what I'm tasting. So it says dark chocolate bar with orange zest. Okay. I will finish this, but like I said, I'm not really a fan of the dark chocolate. So it may take a while, but I will definitely finish this. And now back to the cookies. Alrighty, so I got it out of the package. Made myself a little mess. But anyway, so it is like two wafers together with this cream in the middle. And I'm assuming that's a coconut cream. Since there were coconuts on the cover. And I got this little piece broken off. So let's do this. And let's get the cream in here and the wafer on each side. These wafers, they're really nice and crispy. Easy, easy not hard or anything. So anyway, let's have a quick bite. Mmm. Very good. It's like a nice light wafer. Nice coconut cream in the middle. I love coconut. Some people don't like the texture. The texture doesn't bother me. I don't really sense a lot of flakes in here. It's just really, really creamy. But anyway, so that was good. So I love these cookies. And I'm so excited. I got a big honking package here. So I've got this. It's going to keep me company for a few days. This chocolate dark chocolate that has the orange zest. It's good. Not my favorite because I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. And this with a peanut butter and fudge and like a butterfinger kind of texture in the middle. So, so good. I am going to definitely enjoy that. These spicy mangoes. There's quite a few in here. This is going to last me a while, but so, so good. Like I said, when you first put it in your mouth, uh, you get all that sweetness. You don't smell any heat. All you smell is this fresh mango. And once that sweetness starts to dissipate, the heat kicks in, the spices kick in. Not so hot that it's uncomfortable, but it's enough so you know it's there. And then lastly, we have the fried egg potato chips. And seriously, it is. It's like eating the crusty part of an egg when it's kind of overcooked and it's really kind of crispy at the edge. That's exactly what this tastes like. So anyway, that was everything. Well, half the box anyway, my first yum yum box. Gonna have so much fun with this and I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending a little bit of time with me. And yeah, I'm gonna look forward to doing some taste test Tuesdays here and there. Of course it's during the week, so I'm not always gonna have a margarita. Probably most most likely gonna be water. But anyway, thank you guys again. I hope you guys go out, have a great rest of the week. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you in our next video. Bye-bye.